Hello friends! Wait, hold on. Slay, a little bit better. Obviously you saw the title. We're doing a little chit chat, get ready with me. I feel like it's been forever. Actually, back up. I don't really remember the last time I've done a chit chat, get ready with me. You guys know I'm leaving for Italy very, very soon. For this week, I didn't really know what to film. So I was like, you know what? I have a bunch I need to film for like TikTok and shorts and everything. So let me just, let me just hop on here and get ready. Talk to the girls. Also, Bed Bath & Beyond already has their fall candles out and you know I bought those fast. By the way, I'm gonna have the links to everything that I use in the description box down below. Let's be for real. I use the same makeup every single time I do this. So nothing's new, nothing's new. I can assure you that. Anyways, I just made like a cute little Amazon purchase. I just bought all of these cute little products for travel goodie bags. I'm gonna make a little goodie bag for everybody on the trip. So me, my husband, and then our two friends who are coming with us. It's gonna be so cute, you guys. I'll definitely have it in like a vlog. I think I wanna do like a travel prep vlog. So it'll probably be like, you know, the beauty maintenance stuff I do and then packing a little bit and I'll show you guys what I got. But I just wanted everyone to have like a cute little bag full of items to make them a little bit more comfortable because we do have an eight hour flight and it's flying through the night. It might be nice to have like a travel size toothbrush and like some under eye masks. So I got that stuff. Okay, so wait, what else did I get? I got little immune support powder drinks. I got some melatonin gummies because not all of us are good at sleeping on a plane. Thankfully, my husband can literally sleep through the fucking apocalypse. But like me, I, I'll probably be working. I'll probably be editing. Like, let's be fucking for real. I'll probably be like journaling or like meditating or something. I'll probably be doing everything but sleeping. But I, I don't know. I feel like if I take the melatonin gummy, like I have to go to sleep because if you don't sleep, on a melatonin gummy that shit gets trippy that shit gets trippy as fuck oh yeah and then of course i'm gonna put like little snacks in there too because airport snacks are sometimes just not the vibe if i don't have snacks i feel like i'm uncomfortable like i can't make myself at home you know what i mean brows are done slay also if you're wondering what i had on my phone i've been listening to affirmations like subliminal affirmations on youtube like 24 7 especially when i'm getting ready i just feel like it's a vibe to like have somebody in your ear being like you are stunning you are gorgeous you are magnetic you are abundant you are wise like while you're getting ready like it's such a vibe so if you're wondering why i have this freaking airpod in like no i'm not low-key on facetime with somebody else just you, babe. Just you. You have my undivided attention. Anyways, the makeup vibes for today are Glowing Goddess, which is pretty much what they always are, but of course I'm also practicing for Italy because I just feel like when I'm on vacation or if I'm away from home for any reason and I have to get ready every single day or I feel like I have to, it starts to get a little bit annoying. So I want to just find like a really good quick go-to that like I don't even have to think about if I'm like two glasses of wine deep and I'm trying to get ready for like dinner, you know what I mean? Usually my everyday look is pretty good, but I don't know. Sometimes I just feel like I want to switch it up. I love this skin tint so much, but sometimes I feel like it's giving too much skin. Sometimes I can't tell where I applied the makeup because it matches my skin so perfectly. <laughs> that is a good problem, I'm aware. A little bit more of this guy. What is your favorite foundation or like skin tint or tinted moisturizer? Like what's your vibe? Can you let me know in the comments down below? Because I feel like foundation is one of those things that like once you find one you like, you never stray from it. And I've been using this skin tint for so long, which you all know I will keep using until the cows come home. But like, I do wanna try something else. I really love like, a medium coverage. I don't want it to feel like makeup. You know what I mean? Bro, I gotta get a new bronzer before I leave for my trip. How am I still using this? Like literally what? I've had this for over a year now for sure. And every time I go to squeeze it, there's still product. Like I, I don't understand. It's like the bronzer that keeps on giving. I'm here for it. Oh my God, I took a Pilates class the other day, like a brand new Pilates class and I took it by myself. I'm just so proud of myself. Honestly, like I feel like I really easily talk myself out of doing things like that when it comes to like workout classes or anything really in like a group setting where I'm like going alone. Usually I would like ask a girlfriend to come with me and then if they couldn't make it, I'd be like, oh, whatever. Like I'll just do a normal gym workout. But one thing about Pilates classes or just classes in general, like me, I'm a teacher's pet. I'm not doing any modifications. If you told me there's a level one, two or three, I'm doing level three. I'm full sending it. I don't care if my legs are shaking. Like I'm doing the workout. I'm doing the workout period. So I went there and this is the first day that I'm not like so sore that it hurts to sit down. And I took that class on Thursday. It's Monday. Yeah. Anyways, that was a humbling experience, especially since the majority of the class was much older than me. Like I'm talking late sixties, early seventies. There might've been an 80 year old in there. I would not be surprised. And they were kicking my 
ass. And you know what's so funny? I haven't taken like, it was matte Pilates by the way, it wasn't Reformation. So I haven't taken a matte Pilates in forever. Like it's been a minute. I do matte Pilates at my house on like YouTube. But like I said, a class setting, like it's just different vibes. I work twice as long, three times as hard, like, you know. So I will be going back because that was the best workout that I've had in a really long time. Speaking of going to places alone, I've been highly considering taking myself on solo dates because you guys know I am a hermit. I do love to spend time alone. Like that's how I recharge, like solitude, solitude, okay? But sometimes I know I just need to like get out of the house. Like sometimes that does re-energize me, but getting out of the house also doesn't mean that I need to be around other people. Like I can be alone in public. I can go to a movie by myself. I can take myself out to lunch. I don't know if I do that though. I don't know. I feel like I'd be like, what do I do with my hands? I don't know. I feel like I would just be awkward. Maybe I can work up to uh, taking myself out for a bite to eat, but I definitely feel like going to the movies would be, I feel like it would be like a much easier way and like less nerve wracking way to do a solo date because you're in like a dark room. Everyone's watching the movie. And I feel like people take themselves to movies a lot. So yeah, I think I want to do that, especially since I love going to the movies and bless my husband's heart. He likes going too, but the movies that I want to see, like they are not, they're not something he's going to be interested in for the most part, you know? So maybe that will be a vlog when I come back from Italy, maybe we can go on a solo date together. Have you ever gone on a solo date before? And if you haven't, would you go on a solo date? Let me know in the comments. Speaking of which, I'm so intrigued to see what it's gonna be like being away from home for so long. We're gonna be gone for like 10 days. I'm gonna miss the dogs so much. And I'm really hoping that I can maintain some sort of routine when I'm over there. Thankfully, my friend that's coming with me, she's very big on her routines too. So I think we can figure something out, whether that is together or separate. And we just know like from this time, to this time it's reserved for us doing our own morning routines but yeah i think for me to like have a great time while i'm over there i think i just need to like have a little routine there one thing that i know for sure that like just sets me off on the best foot is surprise being alone first thing just so that i can like get my meditation out of the way journal like take my time focusing on me because that's just something that i have to do in order to be like social and around people so if i do that every single day like every single day is gonna be amazing setting and it won't be as hard to get back to my routine here since that is pretty similar to what I do already it'll probably just be like like a shorter version of it you know because obviously I'm gonna give myself some grace like a hello I'm on vacation but having structure is good for me like it's it doesn't feel like something I need to do to be disciplined I mean there's a little bit of that but mostly it's just like I am happiest when I have structure so I need to create that when I'm on vacation somehow I will keep you guys posted definitely gonna be vlogging I'll probably have two vlogs for the whole trip since it's gonna be so long so I'll probably do like Venice and Florence in one vlog and then Naples and Sorrento in the last vlog oh also my 30 days of drinking is officially up I think it ended on the 24th of August so Mason and I went to the mall we went to this place called dunderbox and we had like literally two beers and that was it and honestly i just felt like it was a waste of calories but you know it's a fun little german market so like they have all these funky little beers there and it's just kind of like a tradition when we go to the mall so it was nice that we could do that but i was just kind of like meh like not really not really that excited by it but either way i'm just glad that like i totally broke the habit of drinking now like normally i would be like making plans around drinking when i wanted to meet up with my friends or if mason and i wanted to go out and do anything like we would just go to a bar but now we're like way more creative with what we're doing it's kind of like if the only thing we can think of is going out to a bar to hang out then like let's not hang out or let's find something else to do and then over labor day weekend his family was in town so we went to a brewery with them and like had a couple drinks there and like that was fun but it's just been like very like wholesome like the occasions that i am drinking it's not like how it used to be with me where it's like oh we're at a bar it's 12 a.m and like all the friends just walked in and we're still taking shots like no now it's very much like oh meeting up with the family let's have a beer at the brewery and get some lunch and then go home like amazing i just oh, i love it this way i love it this way it's just so much more fitting for me my goals the lifestyle that i want to live that i am living and now when i do choose to have a beverage or indulge in any way i don't feel bad about it because it's not like i did the same thing the day before that you know what i mean but of course i will be drinking in italy i'm like very 
intrigued to see how much I'll be consuming alcohol. I know it's like very different over there. Obviously I'll be drinking wine. That's like my drink of choice. Like at the end of the day, love me a glass of wine. Love me a glass of wine. And then of course I gotta do the Aperol spritzes and all the things, you know? I wanna use this mascara. It's the Lancome Hypnose, but it's their new ones that they just launched, or I think they just launched them, but they're all different colors. So they sent me a gorgeous PR package. I will insert a picture here. It was stunning stunning and this is a glass bottle like please it's so freaking beautiful anyways there were three in there and each one brings out different shades of eyes so apparently the green one is supposed to bring out dark eyes and obviously my eyes are dark as shit so we're gonna try it today Ooh, it's really pretty it's gorgeous i like how delicate and soft it made the lashes i don't know if i'll do another layer on them i might just leave them we might just we might just be soft girls today okay these are a little clumpy let me fix that i got this little lash separator from amazon i think it was like four dollars five dollars i don't know it was very inexpensive and lot just watch literally just declumped every single lash I feel like it does take a lot of the mascara off, but if you need to just like reset your lashes, I feel like doing that and then going back in with your mascara, it's so much better. Okay, I think it's safe to take this off now. Look at those lashes. <laughs> Gorgeous! I love the reveal, like after you take off all the shit on your lids. Also, if you are somebody who doesn't get mascara all over your lids, how are you doing it? You can't get keep that information. You gotta let us know. Oh, so soft, so gorgeous. It's giving like fairy princess. I'm here for it. Okay, speaking of fairy princess, we need some highlight. And I totally fucked up. This was supposed to go under my makeup. This is supposed to be the base of my makeup. And I've been forgetting it lately. But anyways, if you put this down before any of your foundation, you will have that glowiness like peek throughout your powder and everything. And then usually I will also use this on top like I'm going to right now. But we're just gonna go kind of crazy with this. Because one thing about me, I will be glowing like an angel. Always. Even if I don't have makeup on, I will make sure the skincare is skincare. Do you get what I mean? Like, look at that. She's healthy, she's drinking her water. Oh my God, by the way, I know everyone says like in Europe, it's so hard to get a hold of water. It looks like there's a lot of like public water fountains. I don't know, we are those Americans that drink like a gallon of water a day. So we're gonna have to figure that out. Speaking of being American, I am practicing my Italian, which actually I'm not gonna lie, I practice it one day. I practice it one day, but I feel like even that one day, it helps me like understand a lot of like fundamental stuff. So I don't wanna be one of those people that just goes to a different country and doesn't know any of the language at all. Like I'm not trying to pop up in a brand new country and just expect everyone to be able to talk to me easily like no <laughs> no I mean I do expect a lot of people to know English because in other countries you know they prioritize learning other languages so that they can communicate with people I don't know outside of their own country so I'm sure like at the hotels and everything it'll be perfectly fine but I still like to hold a conversation with people in another language if I can like it's really fun for me I think it's so cool like languages just intrigue me so much so it's not like I feel like I have to learn Italian like I want to yeah I just want to make sure I'm like carving out a lot of time for that okay lips and then we are literally done still using the lawless forget the filler lip mask this has been saving my life until I get my lips done again which I am due for next month so it's essentially like the Laneige lip mask but it plumps your lips yeah, I know. Let's do some perfume before we leave. I definitely want to wear this today. The Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. If you want to smell like that girl, like you have your shit together, there's not a hair out of place, like Coco Mademoiselle. Oh, it just smells so good, but a little bit goes a long way. Anyways, that's the makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed this little chit chat to get ready with me. I know I haven't done one of these in forever, so hopefully you liked it. You know, every now and then I just feel like I need like an easier, more low key video for the month, especially if I feel like I'm a little bit behind on my content because I don't just want to like not show up for you guys, but I also can't just be posting a very detailed vlog every single week. But <laughs> I'm glad you guys fuck with like the other content that like I mix in. And if you guys have any ideas for content that you want to see, from me before I leave let me know in the comment section down below if I don't get to it before I leave for my trip then I'll definitely get to it when I come back but yeah like I said I'll definitely have like a travel prep vlog coming up soon so be on the lookout for that but other than that as per usual I will post a new video next week so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new here let's be friends let's keep this thing going you can also find me on Instagram and TikTok outside of YouTube at Lexi Luxury I post tons of content there every single day anyways I love you guys so so much and I will see you next week Bye.